Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. You know, it's funny, I kind of realized that I'm more of like a commentary channel, more in like the, the like the actual contemporary YouTube sense than I am actually a, a commentary channel for Dead by Daylight. Because usually DVD commentary channels just kind of talk about mostly just like perk bad, perk good, map good, map bad, character bad, character good, which I do do a lot of that, and that's kind of my bread and butter that I have had for quite some time. Uh, but I also do uh, a lot of stuff, and one of my more honestly favorite focuses is just kind of the community aspect of dead by daylight which is more a contemporary commentary kind of youtuber that has existed in the commentary sphere of youtube for quite some time obviously but i just i don't know i was just thinking aloud hi how's it going hello friends welcome uh to today's video uh, i didn't say today it's aughts and today we have <laughs> sorry i don't Anyways, getting to the topic at hand, we're going to be talking today about how a lot of Twitch and YouTubers uh, uh, in the in the DVD space like to use this whole top MMR thing as kind of a way to puff up their content and draw eyes onto their content. And I kind of just wanted to, you know, point out how that's kind of just a big load of garbage and there's no way to really substantiate that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So I'm sure you've noticed if you go on Twitch or you go on to YouTube where people posting build videos on Twitch, it's often like very, very high hour killer or YouTuber or killer YouTuber killer or survivor mainstreams. They'll often have in their little title or in their about section or in some sort of command, their, their MMR. They, and they say, well, this is top MMR gaming. This is top MMR this. This is top MMR that. I think this is funny because I, I always look at these channels and these channels always get a lot of traction. They always get a lot of people clicking and tuning in and i assume that part of that is because of the attraction to what top tier dead by daylight potentially looks like and a lot of people when they're trying to look into getting into the, like top tier quote unquote top tier dead by daylight they are disenfranchised or disinterested uh with the whole comp scene because it literally plays by different rules than you would play with if you hopped into dbd right now obviously uh there's not like a rule set that you have to obey or anything like comp players do so people want to see what high level play looks like and as something that they could potentially someday achieve and potentially someday be at themselves. And that's kind of the allureness. That is the allure, uh, the alluring nature of putting that in your title, whether that be on a YouTube or a Twitch side of things, is because people want to see what high level play looks like and what they should prepare themselves or what they would be interested in getting into if they one day play the game that much that they themselves end up at high MMR. So now that we've established that if you fall for this click, you're not potentially an idiot. Uh, we will say that the people that put it into their titles are either idiots themselves or outright just lying manipulators uh, <laughs> because there is no way to check your MMR in Dead by Daylight. When somebody says, I uh, top MMR gameplay on Killer or Survivor, it's just a bunch of hot air. It is completely a nothing burger because I don't know if you've noticed, there's literally no way to check your MMR in game. You can make assumptions, right? You can make assumptions. If you play the game eight hours a day, almost every day of the week, and you win like 80, 90% of your matches. Yeah, you know, the, based on how the MMR works where you're awarding points and you raise higher and higher past the soft cap, if you win a lot, yeah, you could assume you're in high MMR, but even then you can't rightfully say you're in high MMR unless you can actually check that number. Much less the, uh, the idea of like is, you know, killer to killer MMRs, which is different for everyone. And that's always a factor as well. There's a lot of things that make it uh, unclear what your MMR is besides the fact that you, it just outright doesn't show you. If you're interested or curious, the only way to actually check your MMR is quite literally by hacking. Quite literally by hacking. Hackers can check MMR because they're the ones that can actually get into the game, get into the game's guts uh, and spew all that information out. See uh, Choi's videos. Choi's make excellent videos on hackers and DVD and what they are capable of doing. So if you want to go check that out, Choi's an excellent channel and has a lot of great videos on that and what uh, hackers are capable of seeing and doing inside the realm of Dead by Daylight. But the caveat for today's video is that hackers are the only ones capable of actually truly checking and having their MMR listed. So Anybody who claims to be high MMR is either just assuming or outright lying to you. And I think it's just kind of like disingenuous, especially considering that I, I come from a lot of games like fighting games, FPSs and MOBAs where your ranks are very, very clear and visible. It's a very good and honest way to bring a lot of traffic and uh, community to your channel by, you know, everybody grinding together, everybody rising through the ranks together. A lot of people want to be part of that journey with you. A lot of people want to rise together, going through bronze, silver, gold, platinum, whatever your ranking system happens to be. A lot of people like to be on that journey, going through that with you. 
So I think it just, it hits me a little bit more rawly than it would somebody else. Uh, because I, I've been there in so many different communities where writing that that ranking journey with a streamer, with a community, with a specific content creator feels so good and great and can be a very good part of the community that essentially Dead by Daylight, people just use it as like a very, very clickbaity, very, very disingenuous way to pump views into their content. And I just... I just wish people wouldn't say it. like you can list your hours right like if you want to be like I am a 9k hour survivor like go for it right because that that's an objective number that's something you could check on your steam that's something that even if they have it on cross multiple platforms you can be like oh I have 4k on xbox and then I have a f like a 5k on pc like that's those are tangible numbers you could go in and see you can check and that gives you a general idea of how well you play that makes sense to me that 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 is tangible and makes sense the people who just kind of claim to be high MMR, I, I, I can't get behind it. I can't get behind it. I, I really can't. The people that just go oh, well, high MMR gameplay. How do you know? You can make assumptions, but there's no way to know for sure. So yeah, I just find it generally just kind of disingenuous, and I wish content creators just wouldn't do that in the DBD space. At least until we had some way to check our MMR or Silver's matchmaking numbers uh, that did not require hacking and literally breaking into the video game. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making a mountain out of a molehill. But it's just a little pet peeve that has always bothered me. So if it's just a pet peeve, just tell me it's a pet peeve. Or if you if you watch these videos and you're also like, Brother, how do you even know what your MMR is? How can you put that there? Let me know if you agree down in the comments below. Well, that's going be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But I will see you in tomorrow's video because I do upload daily. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.